Hello good day viewers. In our introduction to matrices, I told you we have several types of matrices. So in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about other three types of matrices. And these matrices are the transpose matrix, the symmetric matrix, and the skew symmetric matrix. I'm going to take them one after the other and explain intuitively. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. So now let's get started. Let's start with this transpose matrix. Um, suppose we have a matrix A that has these entries. We have A11, A12, we have A21, A22. So for this is a matrix A. The transpose of this matrix A, which is donated by a raised to the power of a capital T. This means uh, transfers of this matrix A can be of 10 by interchanging the rows and the columns of this matrix. So we are going to take this first row and transform it into the first column in this matrix. So we have A11, then A12. Then you take the second row and transform it as the second column in the other matrix. So we have A21, then lastly we have A22. And hence, this matrix, this new matrix is said to be the transpose of this matrix. It's nothing but this. So now let us take an example before we move on to the next matrix because I'm not going to say much about each of these matrices. Uh, example, suppose we have a matrix A that has these entries 1, 3, 4, 2, 1, 5. Suppose this is a matrix A and we want to find A transpose. A transpose can be obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of this matrix. So we are going to take first row here and uh, assign it as the first column in the other matrix. So we have one, two. Take the second row, transform it into the second column. We have three, one. Then last row, you transform it as the third column. We have four and five. So this is our new matrix, which is just the transfers of this matrix. Let us take another one. So first we have um, a matrix B that has these entries. Two, five, three, four, five, three, two, one. So first this is a matrix. Transfers of this matrix B is nothing but interchanging the rows and the columns of this matrix B. And this becomes, you take this one, you assign it as the first column. We have two, five, three. The second one, three, two, one. You can see this matrix was two by three matrix, but this one becomes uh, three by two matrix. You can see this is three by two matrix and we end up having um, two by three matrix. So this is exactly how to convert a matrix into a transpose. Even if it is two by two matrix, suppose we have a matrix C that has these entries one, two, negative two, three. C transpose can be written as one, negative two, then two and three. Just take the rows in the first matrix, assign it as the columns of the other matrix. So now let us talk about symmetric matrix. The second one is symmetric matrix. A matrix is said to be symmetric if and only if that matrix is exactly equal to its transpose. Transpose of a matrix and the original matrix are exactly the same then we say they are said to be symmetrical. All right, suppose we have a matrix A 
with these entries 3, negative 2, negative 2, and 1, let us find the transpose of this matrix, A transpose. Just take the rows here and interchange them into column of the second matrix. We have 3, negative 2, 3, negative 2. Then the second row we have negative 2, then 1. You can see that A is exactly equal to A transpose, and hence it's said to be symmetrical to one another. Let us take the last one, which is skew symmetric. The last one is skew symmetric. A matrix is said to be skew symmetric if and only if the transpose of that matrix is equal to minus the initial matrix. So suppose we have this matrix A. Suppose we have this matrix A. First of all, let us find the transpose of this matrix. A transpose will be, you take the first row here, interchange it into the column of the second matrix. We have 0, negative 2, and 3. 0, negative 2, and 3. We have 2, 0, negative 5. 2, 0, negative 5. Then the last one, we have negative 3, 5, and 0. Negative 3, 5, and 0. And hence, this is the transpose of this matrix. So now, what is negative A? Negative A can be obtained by multiplying each entry by negative 1. So 0 multiplied by negative 1, it is the same thing as 0. Two multiplied by negative one is negative two. Negative three multiplied by negative one is three. Moving on here, negative two multiplied by negative one is two. Zero multiplied by negative one is zero. Five multiplied by negative one is negative five. Three multiplied by negative one is negative three. Five multiplied by negative one is five. Zero multiplied by negative one is zero. So now let us compare. You can see that A transpose is exactly equal to minus A. Look at the entries. A transpose is exactly equal to negative A. And hence we say this matrix A is said to be skew symmetric. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.